is Madame Davidson, Green Party MP, and we hope co-leader soon. Ai te tuatahi, nei rā toku mihi mai oha, toku mihi aroha, ki te mana whenua e pupuri tonu ana, ki te mana o tēnei whenua tēnā koutou ngā ti whātua, tēnā koutou te whānau hōk, um, o koutou wairua o koutou māhana ki a, ki a tātou i tēnei rā. Kei te mihi, kei te mihi, kei te mihi. Kia ora koutou, my name is Marama Davidson and I am but one supporter of the many champions around the world who understand that detention is no place for any child. When I was given the incredible privilege to be part of 13 women leaders from around the world sailing to break the blockade in Gaza to send a strong message that we stand in solidarity with peace through justice with the Palestinian women and children and everything that they are facing under hostile and disproportional rule, it was my privilege. That was my small thing to be able to do. Yes, as Debbie mentioned, I had to leave my family and my family had to think about any possibilities that could happen to me. And I'm very clear that that was nothing compared to what Palestinian women, children, and families face every day of their lives. I am humbled to be able to stand here and support the call, the call for peace and understand that it can only be through justice. I know that you will not stop. I know that you will continue to take stands for the young woman like Ahed Tamimi and her family. I want to acknowledge Sister Barbara Cameron. Where are you? Sister Barbara Cameron, who, thank you, who took her time to go out of her way to communicate to me, to be in contact with me about the involvement she has had with the Tamimi family, with Ahed herself as a young child. I want to thank all New Zealanders who have put themselves on the line to try and make sure that we are informed about what is going on and how we as New Zealand citizens, as citizens of humanity and justice of the world, how we can help. It is my small role to be able to stand here and help you. I humble myself before the champions that you have been for a very long time. This is, this is merely my contribution to do what I can do with whatever platforms I have. And we must continue to do it together. And we must continue to say not one child, not our New Zealand children, not Palestinian children, not Israeli children, should be held in detention in the world anywhere. I once again want to finish off by thanking the organisations, the Freedom Flotilla organisations, the New Zealand organisations, Kia ora Gaza, who supported me to be able to go on the women's boat to Gaza. It had a mind-changing effect on my life and on my family's life and on my commitment to peace through justice and to stand in solidarity with the right for Palestinians to not be evicted from their homelands with the right for Palestinians to have true mana motuhake over their lives, with the right for Palestinians to be able to access basic things like water, clean water, clean houses, jobs, with the right for Palestinians to be able to live in peace. And I will never ever forget the impact of the Women's Vote for Gaza in affirming my commitment to stand with everybody around the world including with Palestinian and Israeli peacemakers who understand that we have to work together to change this for all of us and for our humanity. Lastly, I was, I was humbled to be able to be asked by the organizers to remind people that tomorrow I have an announcement that everybody is invited to at 11 a.m at the Ōtara Leisure Centre in Ōtara, Newbury Street, at 11am, please come. My announcement is to uphold the commitment that I and the Green Party have towards human rights. 
international human rights, domestic human rights, and our long-standing campaign for peace through justice. And I'm looking right at Myri here, the very champions of the Green Party who have long stood for international human rights and peace through justice and being a part of a confidence and supply agreement with Labour will not stop that. Kia ora.